Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to our TOS video. So we are back here in TOS playing um, Najib's <laughs> ultimate stage once again. He seriously looks like Najib. I have nothing to, nothing else to say about that. Alright, so the reason why I say back to TOS is because I've been um, playing a lot of Oneric Tales. Right, I, which is one of the reasons why this video is late. I totally forgot that today I am supposed to make videos for ultimate stage. Alright, so sorry about that. But... Uh, anyway, we are here, uh, taking down, um, what's this guy's actual name? Can't really remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, achievement-wise, we're going to go for 3 or more attributes as well as 3 or more beats. So make a guess what team I'm going to bring. Um, I think it's very obvious, right? But, Drake team with a bit of uh, member change, I would say. Right, so previously, this was, uh, pre pre previously it was a similar setup, right? just that Inari was Demon Bull King. Right, so I did a bit of skill farming, evolved Inari, and now Inari is at max level, max skill. Right, so we're going to use a bit of Inari um, gameplay here. I know it's like super late, but whatever. <laughs> and I would say this team should be quite stable, right, I think. But we'll just have to see. Oh, what's this? What's with the aura? Attack and defense of... Other enemy times 2 and 100% of the. Okay, we'll, we'll kill this one first. And then. Yeah, we're gonna kill this one and then kill this one. Okay, good. So, you can see there, uh, there's some sort of um, priority that you have to make at the start of this uh, particular um, stage. Right, so uh, we can do this 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, good. This should be enough to kill. Okay, good. I think damage-wise is very uh, reasonable because we are actually storing. We do not want too big of a burst and then moving on to the next battle. Right, the reason why I'm storing here is because I want Inari to be up as well as Fury. Right, so Fury is the main card that um, we are actually storing here because Inari is going to be up in like, what? Five? Five turns? Right, so the reason why I left this Radiant Nymph alive is because she's the less threatening, right? Plus she converts um, light runes in which we do not have any light cards, so you can like make use of her converted um, light runes to you know kind of store. Okay, Fury is gonna be up soon. I guess we can move on, right? Because we don't really need Fury the next turn, so we can just move on to the next battle. Right, so uh, another card to mention would be Boisiana, right, at max, max skill, she's basically up and ready to go every single, oh, we actually do need Fury the next turn. <laughs> right, so let's go go for fast store here, we have uh, Ninota, enemy only receive damage dealt by Enchanted Runestone, so this is like one of the problems with Rainbow Team, right, uh, not all cards is gonna attack if you don't dissolve their respective Enchanted Runes. So, uh, the lower the HP, the higher the attack, so there's one problem there. So we're going to go for a quick store here. Right, so you can use Aloha, or you can use um, Inari and Fury combination. Right, so Inari um, gives you enchanted Earth runes, and then Fury um, Earth possess effects of all other attribute runes. So basically, if you dissolve, enchanted Earth is enchanted for all attributes. Right, so other than that, plus Boisiana and... Um, you can pretty much on Yun Yang as well. Alright, so we're just gonna leave um, Aloha alone for now. Right? Going for vertical uh, dissolve because we want to activate amelioration. Right, and then you can see <laughs> damage is pretty much overkill there. Okay, next we have the couple, uh, Dumuzi as well as Inanna. When other enemies are defeated, attack and defense times 50 times. Okay. I don't think we're going to see that in effect because we are going to slaughter them instantly, alright? So with Yun Yang on, the damage and the sky drop is massive, right? Yun Yang provides the sky drop, Boisiana as well as Fury provides the... Oh, they just pushed something off the screen, did it? No, it, no, it didn't, okay. Uh, we have Namta, hard stones cannot be dissolved for 5 rounds. <laughs> okay. We do not have hard wounds, alright, which is why Yun Yang is one of the um, uh, good cards to bring, right, if you are clearing the beast achievement. 
because it just cancels off the hard wounds and you do not have to worry about um, having a board full of hard wounds the next few turns. Like note that it's five turns of no hard wounds, um, inability to dissolve hard wounds, meaning that you're gonna face massive, massive difficulty if you have a full board of hard wounds here, right? You have Atrahasis, several more combos, and then you know you, he's gonna attack you based on the difference of the combos you make. Okay, so here. Uh, okay, I'm a bit. That's not good. Six combo sky drop thanks to Yun Yang, and then that's pretty much gonna kill Atrahasis all. Right, so um, things are a lot easier without the the hard wounds, right? And then here is gonna remove. Oh crap! Did I enter the battle too quickly? Okay, let's try to um, store out a bit here. Right, we do have a, a bunch of active skills ready for me to use at my disposal. So let's see um, if we can bring a few skills back here. Right. So here we can use uh, Inari is ready. Okay, that's good. Uh, Boy is gonna be ready next, so we can use um, Sum Sumatra. Sumatra. Is it Sumatra? Yeah, Sumatra. Okay. <laughs> right. So uh, that's gonna be giving us a bit of a damage boost there. So priority, of course, is Earth runes, right? Because we are running pretty much a Earth team here. And that's gonna take down the first HP bar, right? That's gonna be increased damage in um uh for demon in your team. And next is where Aloha really kicks in. Right, so a paw print, paw print convert, right, of light runes and then dissolving when being attacked of his own attribute damage lower to 10%. Uh, we have no light cards anyway. Right, so Aloha. Right, that's gonna remove give you back a uh, majority of the attribute runes there. Alright, Bosiana, as well as Inari. Right, full board of... Oh! They changed the icon for the beast runes. Right, it looks a lot nicer now, right, uh, to be honest. So, here, it's just gonna rack up as many combos as you can for your... Uh, Aloha. Right, there's gonna be pretty much the best I can do at that position okay and then uh yeah take it away right, that looks like a very dangerous uh spin there you can see that um I think Sumatra did the last hit right so to play safe activate Dragonic Compulsion so with that we are done teacher's record so uh if I'm not wrong this is the second time this guy's this guy has appeared what's his name what's his name I need to check I can't remember his name. Right, so three or more beasts as well as three or more attributes. Right, so it's a typical Guan Yu setup or typical no Guan Yu setup, right? You can put beasts in Guan Yu as well. Um Yeah, or the basic Dread team which in which it's gonna be three three or more attributes, usually. Okay, so with that, uh two harpies for this week. I am very happy for that. Right, so um I I have to check this guy's name. Yeah, Anu. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Anu. Because I don't call him Anu usually. Right, so anyway, that's done. So, uh, there's not pretty much nothing else I am pretty much done for this week because Anu is at max skill for me. I farmed him previously, and Tongtian Jiao Zhu uh, is, to be honest, not really a good card to be farming. Right, so that's my opinion for this week's ultimate stage. Right, so if you guys want to farm it, go ahead and farm it. I'm not stopping you. So with this, I'm gonna end this video. Leave a like if you enjoy it, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.